today's lesson is all about drinking. You see, I've made a lot of mistakes when it's come to drinking, and they mostly have to do with portions. I gave you some information in a previous post about points and portion sizes. And one of the big portion size mistakes I've made has to do with wine. And it's partly due to the containers that vary when you're drinking wine. So maybe you've seen wine glasses like this before. Oh, this is a wonderful one. It's a real fancy, expensive one. And I've put five ounces of wine in this container. And it doesn't seem very full, does it? So if you usually have your wine in a big glass, you might want to switch it to a different glass. Let's see what happens when I put it in here. It probably overflows. Let's see. No, it doesn't. So maybe I'll use this glass more often to keep myself honest for that four-point glass of wine. Champagne. Here's my champagne glass from the year 2000. Let's see how five ounces looks in this glass. I don't know about you, but when I'm having champagne, I fill it up a little bit closer to the top. So make sure that if you're doing that, you're crediting those extra points as you, as you track. Maybe some of you drink out of these newfangled wine glasses. Let's see how it looks in one of these. Dang! Why'd they make the glass so big? So I'm giving you some words of caution about your habit. And I also need to thank my daughter Mandy for leaving this fine Australian yellowtail sitting around open so I could do this demonstration for you. I am going to put it back in the bottle because I'm not going to drink this. I'm going to wait until New Year's. Thanks and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.